All right, hello everybody. This is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dungeon of Nahablek, the Amulet of Chaos. So last time, after much trial and tribulation, we did manage to defeat the albino orcs, and we have just found a quest to recover a sacred axe of a dwarven kind. So now we must find the fragments of it. I'm betting they're going to be somewhere around here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the elf there. successful I'll be in trying to get them to come to us, but... Range attack! Fire out will! Let's see how this works. Well, so much for my cover. On the other hand, I did put him in an ideal position for barbarian slicing. Turn your back on the ogre. That seems smart. I hate orcs. They're even uglier than dwarves. Well, I had been hoping to send Chain Lightning that way, but... Oh, can't quite gas a lot of them, but... The 
Let's see if I can one shot this guy. Haha! Well, at least I'm in a much better position to heal everybody this time. Case in point. <sighs> Must pee. Let's save that until I need it. Like, right now, probably. Ugh, that didn't hurt. like orcs, but they suck even more. I don't know what the heck give myself an extra attack. You can try shooting. You know what? Just for that. Ah! 
Please, I need some room to breathe. Kiala Solida. Well, I didn't finish him off, but... Good work is a dead work. been the hope that that might work. Here I am! Rock you like a hurricane. Okay, so not enough XP, but we did get the Shattered Axe, a service included loincloth, a rich loincloth, for ever taking your meal on the go. Useful in battle, especially if everyone wants to devour his enemies alive. It's splash proof with those flying bits of unidentified organs. Another one of the dwarf books. Another great grand bow of nature blood first, and an old sheet with rusty nails. The spots in this old stinky sheet look like some emaciated bearded dude. Interesting, but infested with fleas. kicks ass, even though it's not finished yet. Yes, it's a unique weapon. So, what's our reward? My eternal gratitude. You truly saved the day. Yes, we're heroes. What? No way. We want gold. Yeah, give us coins. Gold is useless. Don't be so venal. 
A dwarf blacksmith said we were heroes. It's the best we can hope for. Your people's habits are sometimes puzzling to me. And now, bugger off. I've got work to do. Still, I feel like we got played. Yeah, well, I guess we kind of worked for chicken feed. And I didn't get the axe. Gods, I hit you. All of you. Ah, now that's our dwarf. Okay, so we don't get a fancy axe, but we do at least get some XP and a good the fight dwarf out of it. Leveled up. And the dwarf leveled up. The elf leveled up. And the elf leveled up. And anyone else? No? Okay. Do a quick run around to see if I can find that one leather again. Ah, well, maybe we'll get a chance to Those go back there. Those who dug this place had either nothing better to do, or a lot of slaves. You can cast dwarves, I'm guessing, probably the later, if they're anything like deep dwarves in D&D. And ah, there's the kegs of which we were looking for. Okay, somewhere with two statues flanking the entrance. It looks like another side quest. It's good, folks. Would you be game for some honest work? Hmm. Inverted commas around the word honest are like an open window in a world of opportunities. I fortuitously overheard you talking about an axe when you were in the smithy. Uh, fortuitously? I just so happened to be checking the keyhole at the time. Uh-huh. Checking the keyhole with your ears? I think we could find ourselves a deal I just so happen to have in my fortuitous possession the key to the back door of the smithy storage room, where the blacksmith will surely be storing the axe. Is there some amount of gold that could get us this key? No, I was thinking I could hire you to steal the axe on my behalf. Wait, why don't you do it yourself? I had some run-ins with the blacksmith some time ago. I've been under close scrutiny since then. But if you were to fortuitously stumble on this axe, I'd reward you handsomely. I see. Sounds good. And we can even keep the axe for ourselves. The slippery slope of crime. How delightful. Still, that's a lot of fortuitous things coming together. Well, while I'm thinking of it. Let's see, current wind cloth gives me a plus three charisma. This one gives me a plus three to courage. The other one gave me a plus three precision. Call me crazy, I think the precision one probably is gonna help me a bit more. I mean, stat bonuses are nice, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't think he really needs to worry about courage or charisma.
Okay, well, I got all of my useless junk sold off. Some chance of disarming this one. Slowly pull on the latch. Of course, this time I managed to do it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Damn it. I'm not sure we should give it to that sleazy dwarf. Nothing could come close to its value. It must be really effective for you to not want to sell it. This axe's value goes beyond efficacy. It's steel made art. Only a dwarf can understand that. Your behavior is almost touching. Go sit on your moldy books and set it on fire. On the other hand, if you were to sell it for a nice amount of gold, they can see the appeal. Almost touching. So, the gold in here. Yeah, let's see. There's a... Gordon Ramsay, strainer of butt-kicking. This kitchen utensil to belong to an infamous chef who used them to literally beat his sous chef like lemons. Literally. Harness of the Mountain Skulls, made from the finest muck fuck, uh, fang drink or lover. This harness has seen numerous battles and been taken from the fresh corpse of its owner by a more deserving warrior time and again. Major Human Potion, Major Snout. I get the feeling we're going to get jumped the minute we walk outside the door. Now, we do have the option to take the axe back, however... No way I'm giving it away! Screwed up, buddy. 55 to 85. Dippy. That is a bonus I would... I like. Let's see, it's a 4-3 versus 8-2 and 2. Oh, cool. The same as Kraw. So, do you have it? Perfect. Do you wish to give the axe back? Keep it! Actually, no. This axe can't. Oh, this shit, it's awesome, and it's mine! Uh, I'm disappointed. Yeah, well, suck it up! My patrons won't like that. You will face grave consequences. Is he really threatening us right now? We'll make you choke on your socks. I see. I'll leave you be, but this is not the end of it. We'll cross paths again if there's a sequel to this game. Yeah, well, I'll keep those words warm and cozy where the sun don't shine. I got the axe! <laughs> the Barbarian leveled up. Oh, okay, well... So I think that leaves everybody having leveled up or being ready to level up except the thief. Now I can wield the Axe of Aggressive Negotiation. Oh wait, I'm already wielding the Sacred Axe. Main weapons cannot be unequipped. Damage, 80, 38 to 53.
Yep, 3053 precision. Yeah. That is uh, definitely worth it, I think. that done. I think we'll go ahead and take one more look for that tunnel with the two doors flanking it. northeast of the throne or wasn't well put that we'll go ahead and talk to the king first <laughs> victory hooray a beautiful slaughter so many guts splattered and blood spilled entrails and burst innards will look nice on the mines walls Ew, not very feng shui aside from the fun part you also have won us enough time for reinforcements to arrive. Holy cow. They have iron golems. I thought that was goblin technology. Yeah, let's leave it at that. I don't want to end up flat as a pancake. Oh, are we making pancakes now? Yippee! You're full of surprises. A gift from the gods. You delivered a prisoner to me, then you vanquished our foes. Good, good. You should cut your elf's tongue, though. Yeah, well, uh, so what about our deal? First, I'll have to discover why the gates have been opened. It would be easier to heal the guards who were keeping the doors. If anyone survived, you could interrogate him and uncover his carelessness. <laughs> Save the dying, only to torture them after. Lovely. Ah, I like you. <laughs> <clears throat> there are some affections one could do without. Anyway, we've made some progress, haven't we? Can't we talk about our reward? I understand your impatience. But we could make a bigger move. Why don't you go to the inn while I impale some things on my schedule? Then we'll discuss some important matters. But Have some is... fun and try our special brews. I won't be long. Okay then, killing some time, that sounds fine. I really don't like him. Plus his teeth are brown and yellow. What color would they be? Well, let's blow some steam off, it can't hurt. Go ahead and fetch a few beers. You gotta admit, it's not the worst quest we've had. The optimism of adventurers is, more often than not, a subtle mix of naivete and stupidity. Yeah, let's go back to the bar where I pissed off the guy who said I'd upset his patrons. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording here, level everybody up, and next time... We will go on our quest to go and get drunk at the bar. Huzzah!